eat like this if you train with kettlebells. I'm going to show you my diet, what I throw down the hatch to look the way I look, to feel the energy that I feel to be able to do what I do all day and to train the way I train. But before we get started, we help busy over 40s get in shape with only 30 minutes of kettlebell training per week in the next 30 days. If you're interested to learn more about our method, check the first link in the description and download our free ebook called The Kettlebell Code. This is what I call the hunter gatherer method and it includes the most important nutrients and foods that I include in my day. This is a bird's eye perspective. I'm going to take it a little, little deeper, but here's the basic understanding. I want to have plenty of vegetables and fruits. I want to eat protein foods. I want to make water my drink of choice and I want to choose whole grain foods. The hunter gatherer to me means if I hunt, then I'm able to eat some whole grains or side dishes as I call them like bread or rice or pasta. Hunting for me means training. So if I train, I have earned my hunt and have earned to eat a little bit more. If I don't train, I leave away the side dishes completely because from my understanding, I don't need additional calories if I didn't earn them if I didn't train hard, if I didn't go balls to the walls. Let's start with the basics. This is what I eat throughout the whole week. And yes, pizza is on there. And even kebab, which is a Turkish dish. I love it and I enjoy it. It's not here on the list right now, but I do enjoy these foods. Let's start in the bottom left corner. High protein yogurts, high protein ice cream, any type of high protein stuff, I enjoy it and I like it. Even though we have realized they are quite expensive, broken down over the month so what we're now thinking is just adding some whey protein to curd and then you actually make your own protein yogurt then of course i eat meat even though on a reduced manner and the reason is simple i enjoy meat i don't think there's anything wrong with it but i have some sort of moral issues to a certain extent i'm not a vegan i'm not a vegetarian but i love dogs for example i really love our two staffies that we have and sometimes i have a hard time differentiating saying okay now why is the cow less worth and we eat the cow but we don't eat the dog even though in china they eat dogs right but this is kind of like a moral issue that i have to grapple with then salad of course it's always included all day every day and meat is maybe two or three times per week then oatmeal, I love oatmeal. Every morning I enjoy my oatmeal with some whey and some almond nuts, which you see in the top right there. And when I go to sleep at night, I can't wait to wake up to eat this wonderful oatmeal. In the bottom right corner, they're called Leuvenantail. This is a brand they started in 2017 and they have grown quite extensively. And what they offer is a solid meal in a glass. So it is processed, yes, but it's ultra high quality. I do not know how these guys do it, but I enjoy the pro that, that product so much that we also sell it in our gym and we sell it to our clients when they get started and when they work with us in the, in the German speaking realm. It only takes you about three minutes to cook it you just throw it in the pan and then here you go. One of the staples that I've changed, which I believe has helped me keep the leanness that I was able to acquire and it also helped me build some solid muscle. This is really good stuff. And what Leverantile also includes is a big portion of fibers. And if you eat a lot of fibers, you'll feel it in your digestive system most definitely. But the good thing is you are less hungry because it sits in the intestines more longer. Then we have protein bars. I do enjoy them, but I know they are sometimes a little bit problematic when it comes to the calories. So we have to be careful when it comes to the calories, even though it says protein on it. Just yesterday with a client, we had this great conversation where she says, well, I'm eating these protein cookies. And we checked the food labels and she was really amazed. She was like, oh, so many calories. Yes, actually, that's what it is. Then pizza, of course I eat pizza. What is the major difference why I can eat pizza and look like this? Why is that? Well, because I limit 
the amount of pizzas that I eat per week. It's one. Then I drink a lot of coffee, even though I started drinking decaffeinated coffee. Here's my biggest sin, and that is the energy drinks right here at the left side, where it says Noko, the blue one with the yellow description. Then on the right top corner, we have veggies. Now we eat a lot of veggies. By now, you might have realized, well, this information that I already know, right? We know more veggies is a little bit healthier than eating pizzas all day. Well, everybody knows this, but it's not about the information, it's about the application. Then I eat bread, but same goes with the hunter-gatherer method. I don't eat side dishes and bread and rice and all that kind of stuff is what I consider a side dish. I do not eat it if I haven't trained. Then almond nuts, my favorite nuts. Then Haribo, I love these these, these sweets. I'm, I have a sweet tooth on the weekends, right? I'm, I'm careful with candy. Empty calories, not a lot of nutrients, so I have to be careful. And then of course, apples. I eat three apples a day. So that is 90 apples per month, right? That's a solid amount of apples. Yeah, I love them. Always in the morning, lunch, and then in the evening. So check out the supplements that I'm taking currently. Of course, I'm using whey protein. Just makes things so much easier. Great for building muscle. Great to upgrade your protein intake. From experience, we know that people lack protein, so it's not a necessity, but it makes things a lot easier. And then in the middle, let's go to this supplement stack that I'm using. On the left side, you have the collagen peptides. I don't use the collagen for building muscle, but I've seen some research that is quite interesting that says that additional collagen peptides can help you with the skin and I don't want to look too old. <laughs> then we have uh, omega-3. I don't eat a lot of fish, so some healthy uh, fats. Then I have zinc and magnesium, great for recuperation. Then this is one, the one that I've started recently, glucosamine and chondroitin. This is great for the joints. Then some sport vitamins because I train a lot, I move a lot. Then vitamin D3. One of the major reasons why I take vitamin is because here in Switzerland, we have times and seasons where we don't get a lot of sun. So it's important to supplement with vitamin D. And then at the right hand, you see creatine. I'm a great responder to creatine. I feel I have more power during the sessions. And what creatine allows you is to pump out more reps. So the creatine in itself is not an anabolic agent, but it helps you to crank out more reps and work out a little bit more intensively. This in turn adds some more mechanical tension to your muscles, which in the end can help you build a little bit more muscle. And this is the anabolic agent in the end is then you being able to work out a little bit more intense or crank out more reps. Now here's the basics that I follow. I say I wanna eat 80% whole foods and 20% processed. I follow an intermittent fasting protocol at lunch. I eat at 1 p.m. and then I don't eat anything until 8.30 p.m. So that's seven and a half hours where I don't eat anything. Then I usually wanna eat smaller portions, something that I've realized my goal is to be as lean as possible. I wanna follow the Bruce Lee type of physique. So I'm always kind of like focused to be in some kind of deficit so I can keep that leanness. But here's one of the major points that I've learned and that we also tell our clients and that is learn the skill of reading food labels. So you know, so you understand exactly what's in that food that you're about to purchase and you're about to eat that you understand. Hey, how does that even work? and we're gonna share a little bit more about calories in a second. Now for my training schedule, just to touch on it briefly, kettlebells make up 50% of my training routine throughout the week, barbells is 20%, body weight is 20%, and dumbbells is 10%. Even though body weight, we can add it a little bit more because almost every day when I train, at least on my training days, I do burpees. If you want to know, hey, how can I get as lean as possible and how can I keep that leanness, let's use a very simple formula formula that has helped me over the years. Let's say body weight times 24 times 1.3 minus 300. So how does that look like? Let's say your body weight is 80 kg, right? So 80 kg times 24 and it works with kg only. So that adds up to 1,920 calories. Then times 1.3, approximately 2,500 calories is your maintenance. If you eat like this, you'll always maintain your weight. Now, if you wanna become a little bit more lean and more defined and see the muscle and maybe the way I follow it, then you can say, okay, let's cut away 300 calories right and then we're left with 2200 calories throughout the week that i want to focus on it's a very easy simple formula 
that works if you follow it. And finally, the most important rule if you want to be as lean as possible, the leaner you are, the higher the sacrifice. If you say, well, I want to eat pizza all day. I don't want to be limited in the way that I eat. I do not want to say no to certain foods. I want to enjoy them because this means more to me than looking lean that's totally fine but don't make the mistake then to walk around and say well everything else or everyone's else or everybody else is to blame because i am not willing to sacrifice some parts of my life and maybe even of my social life to look like this and even if you've achieved great results we have lots of these clients here they say well i've achieved great results but i want to even go a little bit more intense i want to sh be more shredded or whatever have you most of the time it boils down to what are you willing to sacrifice and is life still livable for you if you bring these sacrifices achieve the ultimate body and are you still happy with it i for example am happy with it yes i have to bring these sacrifices and yes sometimes they're more easy sometimes they're harder but sim since i've been doing this for a long time it's way easier for me so here's the next thing that you have to do. Clean and press that like and subscribe button. Share with a friend who's also interested in kettlebells. And if you made it this far, consider downloading our ebook, The Kettlebell Code. Listen, if you're over 40 and you want to get in shape, yes, diet is important. But finding a training tool that really is fun, that can give you a lot of effective results when it comes to shaping your body, that doesn't take a lot of time and that you can do at home, I think the kettlebell is the perfect tool for this. We see it in experience. And if you want to find out more about our method, the way we use kettlebells, download our free ebook in the first link in the description.